let's talk about Taylor guitars. Now, I, I just, I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate in the comments section for this, but what is the deal with Taylor guitars? Like, what is the deal with them? I, I, I really hope the two people in Fargo that I know that have Taylor guitars do not follow me on YouTube. But, like seriously, what is the deal with them? Like, both people paid $3,500 for their guitar. Like, it's an expensive guitar. But why is it so bright sounding? Like, every time I mix an acoustic show where somebody's got a Taylor guitar, I'm like, eh, this isn't gonna sound very good. And it's just, it's, they're just so bright. They're not, like, they're almost shrill sounding, in my opinion. And, you know, one Taylor guitar, I was like, well, maybe it's the way they're EQing it on the guitar. Maybe they're just, like, heavily scooping it and cranking up the high end. I don't know. Maybe it's the strings they bought. I don't know. But then, you know, you get another guy with a Taylor guitar, and it sounds exactly the same. And what you might be thinking is, hey, Brian, why don't you use your sound tech magicry and just make it not so bright, right? So... You know, I've tried. I've tried. So a lot of times I'll mix an acoustic show with an analog mixer. And there's only so much you can do with lows, mids, and highs. But I just happened to mix an acoustic show recently. And I had my X32 because I had updated the firmware on it. And, you know, like the major firmware update. So I was like, I need to kind of get back into the swing of this thing. Um, figure out what changes there were in the firmware and stuff before I mix like a full band. So, I had my X32, and, like, I'm starting to cut out the highs, and I'm noticing, well, I'm just kind of, kind of getting rid of the whole guitar there. So, I start looking at the RTA, and it's, like, super high end, nothing, and then just a little bit of, like, low end, like, real far low end, like, 60-ish hertz, maybe 80 hertz, like, solidly 100 hertz and below. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like... Is, 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 are Taylor acoustics like the Audix D6 of acoustic guitars? We're just like, high end, low end, scoop. And that's all I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, I could, I could, I could, I could EQ this out, but then there'd be nothing left. I've only got high end to work with. And I just don't understand. And both people that, that I know that bought Taylor guitars, like they love them. Like, both of them think it's the greatest guitar they've ever bought. Like, I don't know if it's easier to play because it's expensive. Maybe it sounds better acoustically. Maybe what I am experiencing is, is the pickup. So maybe when you're just sitting there jamming acoustic, it's not plugged into anything. Maybe it does sound fine. I don't know, but it is the most scooped guitar sound I have ever heard, and if I'm doing an acoustic, like if it's a singer with a guitar, I like a nice full-bodied acoustic guitar sound that's cranking out the full range of frequencies so that you, you've you got a full range of frequencies to listen to. Nobody wants to just hear, hear you know, 2K and above on a, on a guitar. They, they want a full frequency spectrum. You don't have a full band with you. And that's, that's the only thing I can possibly think about Taylor Guitars, is that maybe they're engineered to be mostly high-end, super scooped, and then a little bit of low-end, because they're designed for the concert stage, like big stage, full band, you know, there are acoustic guitars that can have resonating problems and want to feed back. Well... Anything that wants to resonate and feedback won't on a Taylor because those frequencies don't exist. They just scooped them right out of there. And that's the only thing I can think about a Taylor guitar is specifically designed for I'm rocking a stadium, I'm bringing out my acoustic guitar, and I'm, I'm jamming, but my instrument is by no means the lead at all. It's the acoustic guitar you hear mildly in the background, that high-end... You can tell I'm strumming, but I am definitely not the rhythm. I'm just, I'm here and I'm doing something.
Is that what a Taylor guitar is? I don't know. That's what I think it is. Maybe just stadium guitar, but I just, I don't think it's designed for I'm doing a patio acoustic show. I don't think it is. It's nothing but high end. Anyways, that's my rant for today. If, if you have a different thought on a Taylor guitar, if you know why it sounds the way it does, maybe, maybe it's just the two that I've heard sound like that. I don't know. Do they all sound like that? I'm never going to buy one. I hope I don't mix a whole lot of them. You know, unless it's like a full band show. It's a full band show. I don't think I would mind. Except, you know, I'd keep it pretty low in the mix. But I really do not like them for acoustic shows. Anyways, share your thoughts. What do you think about them? Throw it down in the comment section. Until next time, have a good day.